it is a lot. What the hell is going on? And then I have this pimple right here. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, Hi babes and welcome to the video. If you are new here, my name is Monica and for today's video I'm showing you how I went from this to this using a full face of makeup Revolution London. So if you want to see how I did this glam, make sure you keep on watching. Okay, so let's start this glam, but before we do, if you know me from Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, make sure you go ahead and do it. If you know me from Instagram, this is a big change for me. This is a whole no new person. This is a whole new me. I had a really long hair. My hair was like on my ass already. And yesterday, I just I just had to chop it off. I just had to. I woke up one day and said, I really need to cut my hair. It was a hard thing to do. I was sitting on the hair salon thinking, I don't want to do this anymore. But at the same time, I just did it. And I don't regret it because I feel so good with this hair. I'm feeling myself and I cannot wait to do makeup on this new hair. I don't know, when you style your hair and when you change your hair, you really want to do makeup because you need that to feel like complete, to bring the whole look together. So I'm really excited to do a full face of makeup today with my new hair and of course my new nails that my sister did on me, ready for summer. I'm just feeling myself today, I'm feeling myself. So I hope this makeup look turns out really good. So let's jump into the makeup part of this video because I have been talking a lot, but let's jump into primer and I'm gonna be using the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Pore Perfecting Primer. That's a long name, but that's how it, it is called. So this reminds me a lot of the e.l.f. Uh, putty primer. I don't know we, who came with it first, but I never tried this one. So let's just apply this. I'm just gonna apply it into my face. And of course I had to break out two days before filming. So I haven't been filming in like a month or so. Like I had other things to do, so I wasn't filming, but I did apply makeup sometimes. My skin was clearing up, never breaking out. And of course the time of the month came exactly before I had to film. So two days ago, I got these two Betty's right here. And I don't know why I couldn't handle myself and I had to pop them. That's a no-no. I know it's a big no-no. Uh, I don't know why I did it. I tried to control myself, but I couldn't. So this is why I have these here and these here. But other than that, my skin is really clearing out. These are just two new additions to the family, but I hope they go away soon. But yeah, that's why I have these two baddies in here. That is a lot. But just let push it in into the pores. I don't know if this is supposed to make my skin look white or it's because I used a lot, but it just made my skin look really white. Next is time for foundation and I actually have two that I wanted to try. I have the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation and then I have the Matte Base Blurring Full Coverage Foundation. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use today. I know that this one is really full coverage, but this one is like a very good foundation. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think, yeah. I'm gonna apply a little bit. I don't know how much I need. This look like a good shade for me. So let's start with this. Looks like it's way too light for me, but we're gonna have to work with it. This is obviously a way lighter shade than my actual skin tone, but when I apply it, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks way darker. Like, look here on the applicator, the color, and then look on my skin. It looks hella white and gray. So, mm, I'm not sure about these. This is not looking cute, but we can fix it. We can fix this with a little bit of concealer and then lots of bronzer. Time for concealer. I have the shade C8 and C4. I think I'm gonna go with C8 under my eyes and over it with a little bit of the lighter one just to conceal my dark circles. I know it looks dark, but it's like to correct, if you know what I mean, the darkness that I have here. 
Maybe a little bit in here. Yeah. In here. Can even go over that pimple. I don't know if you can see, but it looks way better once I color correct. And now I can go over it with the C4. This concealer, this one right here, I don't know if you guys can see, I've used it a lot. I love this concealer. I haven't tried the foundation yet and I'm not sure about the foundation. I didn't like the color at all, but this concealer is like one of my favorites when it comes to drugstore. I really, really love it. It's a really good concealer, super creamy, brand, blends really nicely. And I was expecting the foundation to be a lot like the concealer, but I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. It's not working for me. Maybe it's the shade. I just don't like the shade. I might get it in another shade, but I really thought the F F6 would be my shade, but maybe I need an F7. So moving on, I'm going to apply these Makeup Obsession Cheek and Lip Duo. This is also for Makeup Revolution. You buy it on their website. Now I'm just gonna go apply directly like this. And then like blend it out with sponge. There is nothing I can do about this pimple. It will look like that. There is nothing I can do. To set the face, I'm going to go with the Makeup Revolution Lace Baking Powder. This is like the dupe for the banana powder, like the super famous one. I don't remember the brand name, but it's like the dupe for that. The packaging looks a lot like the same. So yeah, we're gonna apply this. I know it look weird, super white, but we're gonna fix this with bronzer. Don't be scared. Finally, moving into the step that it might save my face, I'm going to apply this uh, Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer, and this is in the shade Light, and it looks hella dark, even though it's a light shade. Let's just try and see what it does. It's muddy. Let me switch brushes. This brush didn't do it better it's a lot of fellow i just really need to that is a lot what the hell is going on and then i have this pimple right here that is not disappearing i just said in the beginning of this video that i was feeling myself my new hair my nails but this makeup is not helping me out it's so muddy are you even kidding me? I have been blending this bronzer for a long time now. It's it's looking a bit better, but I don't know if you guys can see, it really looks like mud on my skin. So I just need a refreshing spray to see if it helps. I'm gonna go with the Revolution Glass Glow Fix. I hope this fix something because this look is not looking cute. No, 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 no. So I'm just gonna like spray my whole face with this. I need a whole lot. Oh, it feels better. Oh yeah, it did help a bit. I don't know if you can see on camera. I'm just gonna go over it with my, I'm just gonna lay it dry a bit. My skin doesn't feel as dry. It still looks bad though. I don't know what it is. With this makeup today like i couldn't cover my pimple my skin it's just not it's just not right i'm just gonna apply highlighter because i need something good in my life something to make me happy right now and i think highlighter is it and this is the sculpt and glow contour and highlighter it's very glittery it's really pretty though i really like it it's kind of wet looking, which I like. Kind of fix that mess of the skin. My skin is looking really dry, so I really need this to like bring the healthy glow back into my skin, which is really not an easy thing to do right now, so my skin is so dry. 
Moving into brows, I'm just gonna go with the Brow Pomade in Ash Brows from Makeup Revolution Pro. So this is pretty much how I want my brow to look and now I'm gonna use this same concealer that I use under my eyes to carve the brow to clean my brow bone. So this brow is done as you can see, it really lifts my eye a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go and do the other one off camera and be right back. Brows are done and it's time for eyeshadow and the palette that I'm going to use today, this is the Tropical Twilight with Tammy X Revolution Beauty. Look how pretty, look at the colors. It's just so, so beautiful. I'm so inspired by these like packaging that I think I'm gonna do a eyeshadow look inspired on this with these like blues and purples and pinks. I really hope this palette doesn't disappoint me as much as the um, foundation did and the bronzer. But yeah, let's move into eyeshadow. I went and mixed a little bit of dusk with sunrise and I'm going to apply that on the inner part of my eye. Oh, it's pigmented and these two shades together created a really pretty orange. And what I do is I have this thing right here, I go with my brush, take off the excess and I go and I blend it even more. So less is more, so we start with a little bit and then go with more and more and more. Uh, and not apply a whole lot in just the beginning because it will just not blend nice if I do it that way. So I start with a little bit, really blend it out and then go in for some more. Now I'm gonna go with True Love, which is this beautiful purple shade and blend it on my outer V. Then again, tip off the excess and blend that shade out. Then I'm gonna go into Twilight to darken that up even more. Then on my lid space, I'm going to go with Night Sky, which is this beautiful ocean glittery blue, which I think it will look really great in here. Let's see. Oh, that is so pretty. And then next to it, I'm gonna go with a bit of ocean, which is a dark blue and mix both. Then I'm gonna go with this matte night blue called Nightfall and apply right where the blue ends to darken up that even more and to blend the glittery shade with the matte shade. I'm gonna go with a bit of Twilight and True Love on my waterline. Then again, I'm going to blend it up with a bit of Dusk and Sunrise together. Then I'm gonna go with a little bit of Glow on my brow bone and on my tear duct. So the eye is done. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's really pretty. This blue is everything. It looks like ocean blue. I'm obsessed with this palette. Like this is the best thing that I tried today in, in a long time. For a drugstore palette, this is like beautiful. I'm obsessed. So I'm just going to go and finish my other eye off camera, apply some falsies and be right back. Eyes are done and they are like matching my nails. I'm so obsessed with how this eye look turned out. I'm loving this palette so, so, so much. It's like one of my favorites right now. Just like by trying it once. I loved how the eyeshadow was super pigmented. I didn't even use like an eyeshadow base or primer or anything. I just have like foundation on my eyes and the eyeshadows were super pigmented, the colors popping, and I love how everything blended. It blended super well, and the fallout was like minimal. So everything that I need in a palette, this has it. Now for the lips, I really want to do a dark lip liner and then use a light lipstick on the center, if you know what I mean, a really beautiful ombre. And for the liner, I'm going to use this. This is super dark. This is the Glory Lip Liner from Makeup Revolution. 
So this is what it looks like. I know it's super dark, but I'm gonna go with a lipstick and it will be lighter. I apply some lip balm so the lip liner blended more smoothly because it's a little bit dry. So I'm gonna go with this lipstick. This is the Strip Lipstick. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful pinkish nude. Now to finish the look, I'm gonna go again with the Glass Glow Fix and spray it all over my face. The look is done, you guys. I'm obsessed with how the eyes are looking. I'm loving the lips, the brows, but the base, I'm not loving the base so much. I mean, the Glow Fix did help with giving my skin the skin-like looking and more of a glow but before that my skin was really dry and the bronzer was really muddy i don't know if it's the primer that i used i used a lot of primer probably my fault but i really want to give this foundation a try with my usually primer and of course in my shade if you are looking for a colorful palette this one is a great one you know the be perfect um carnival palette this reminds me a lot of that, but for a much more affordable price. So if you like that palette or you just cannot buy that palette, but you want something like it, this one is a really great palette. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love doing these full face of one brand tutorials. So if you want to see more, if there is a brand that you would like to see me using in one of these videos, make sure you comment down below which one and I'll make sure I will film that next. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i want you to be a part of my fam and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and follow me on social media if you don't follow me there make sure you go check me out marika rose mua on instagram i also have a tiktok if you want to go and check it out and again thank you so so much for watching and i hope to see you on my next one bye bye